we got uh, a handful of questions that were about the factions in the game. We talked a little bit about them in the last uh, in the last video that we did, but I just wanted to come back and sort of like grab some of the questions people asked while we were talking about Red Talon and the network and Echo Lab. So uh, Vicia wants to know where was Red Talon during State of Decay One. Red Talon was a subsidiary of um, uh, Weston Allied Industries. Weston Allied Industries. It was just one of their uh, their uh, one of their many companies that was related to their worldwide project, uh, products. Right, uh, a lot of business related stuff, and with that went executive executive protection, which is sort of the buzzword for. Um, private military contractors the world over. Um, so they were they were a part of uh, of the world before anything in State of K happened. So okay, yeah. So and then basically, so so yeah, they were a part of the world, and then they were you know because every it was basically an all hands on deck situation when the zombie apocalypse started they get called in because everyone with a gun gets called in. And so they end up being a big part of sort of the response and they end up being the ones who are able to sort of adapt and learn and be, you know, become sort of the military force that, that thrives and survives in the setting rather than or at least uh, a military force. I guess that that's true. Survives, right. Again, we're telling local stories. I don't think we want to suggest that red talent is the only armed force in the entire country. But they're the one active here. Yeah. And, you know, in State of Decay 1, it's too soon. They they haven't really figured that out yet. Like, they're around. I'm sure there's Red Town soldiers shooting zombies some places. But it takes um, a while for them to step up and go, oh, no, no. This is our job now. We started to meet them in Lifeline. And you could, you could uh, take over some of their sniper platforms that they still had active, right? So yeah. the thing about... about the one of the things we wanted, to, the stories we wanted to tell around Red Talon was that um, because they were part of a corporate entity that had actually done pretty well because it was very well organized and it was used to a lo like worldwide logistical issues, right? Uh, the military was going to have a harder problem because they were trying to manage a much larger tail than this efficient business entity that the that the private military contractors were. So they were. They were on the spot. They were able to move to places really quickly. Um, and so, um, like Andy said, they were there on the ground. They had some assets. And then those assets, because they were available, especially in the geographical area that State of Decay is set, um, they were in place and therefore became something of a power, a, a faction, if you will. Demon Soldier 467 wants to know, uh, why doesn't Red Talon have equipment like the CRM for The Walking Dead if they're the military faction? Why don't they have, like, masks and ballistic helmets and, like, plastic armor and stuff like that, like like uh, what, what you see in, in other stories? Uh, well, games. Um, <laughs> no, but... Um, it's... There's... Yeah. One of the reasons why we didn't have a lot of people in body armor, with the exception of our military, you know, the military and police guys, was because we had to, we really didn't want to have to explain why you couldn't peel that armor off and use it on your character, because we simply didn't support that feature. Um, and so if we have more and more characters with more and more armor running around, then that question is going to start coming more and more to the forefront than it already did, right? We've dealt with that for a long time. Why can't I use the body armor that's on these characters? And including more of that would have been troublesome. What we did want to do with things like um, Daybreak, showing that uh, Red Talon was trying to find innovative new ways to fight the zombies. Granted, it was mostly in either uh, uh, mods for your base or in like the offensive weaponry that we had. Um, we still have to had to avoid the that sort of sticky issue around why can't I use this cool helmet that they have? Why am I not using night optics and things like that? Well, we just don't have it. It's, yeah, 
I, I always appreciate it when uh, when the art team doesn't write checks that the systems can't cash. Uh, I mean, we still try to, but vice versa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally.